John here from Glad Mind, and today we're going to Photoshop out the sky and put something in its, in its place. So the first thing what we'll do is we'll ex change the exposure in the sky, which will brighten the image, the whole image up, but effectively it will brighten up the darker images of the sky. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the marquee tool and we're going to draw a small selection on the sky. And then we're going to go to the select toolbar and we're going to go to select and similar. And what that will do is that will highlight all parts of the image that correspond and match up this, the color of the sky. Now, as you zoom in, you can actually see that it's, it has selected parts of the parts of the sky behind the tree, but it also has selected some aerials and windows. And to be honest, it's not a, it's not a hard job to get rid of them. We're going to use the quick selection tool with the minus selected, and we're going to just deselect all these wee images. It'll, it'll still keep the, the sky highlighted, but what it will do is it will remove the selections that aren't required. So bear with, we'll get this done. What we're going to do is we're going to double click the background layer and we're going to uh, unlock it and then we're going to click the mask button it will mask out the, the, the houses and the, the trees but we're going to click an invert and that will invert the mask which means that the trees and the houses are still there but the sky is gone so now we look and I can see that some parts of the image the sky is not into the trees that's easily enough fixed what we're going to do is we're going to grab the magic, uh, magic wand tool and we're going to use the alt button and we're going to alt click a couple of different areas on the image and that will make it, that will actually select them all at the same time and then we're just going to click delete so first we'll do this we'll do a few of them now um, there is other ways of doing this but I'll just do this at the minute and then we'll come back to it in a few seconds What we're going to do is we're going to go and open up our other image and the other image which I've picked today is a picture of the space shuttle which I got from plaxult.com it is free for uh, modification and commercial use and what we're going to do is we're going to free transform it or control T and we're going to make it the same size as our image like it's, it's over the top of the image at the minute but what we'll do is we'll change the order and we'll put it below the first image and as you can see the mask which is a brilliant tool wherever the black the black uh, paint is on the mask it shows the image shows through and wherever it's white the image is hidden it's pretty simple I think I used this before for the 3d car pop out it is pretty 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 simple but it's in a very effective way of making an image appear behind another image now what we're going to do now is we're going to position this image and then we're going to blend it in burn tool and what we're going to do is we're going to run the burn tool over the top of the trees and it will slightly darken the highlighted areas and um, it'll take a few seconds to do that grab the brush tool we're going to make sure the color is black and we're going to click on the mask part of the image and yeah make sure it's black and we're going to basically we're going to get rid of the TV aerials just like that I'm going to adjust the opacity and the fill and we're just going to get remove the TV aerials all together Controls there if you make a mistake.
going to bring that on down and that's going to give the illusion that the clouds from this or sorry the smoke from the space shuttle takeoff is actually going to be going over part of the building and it actually gives it more of a 3d dynamic into the brickwork so it looks like this the smoke is actually coming over the house and then what we're going to do is we're going to gradually play about with the smoke and we'll move right that. <laughs> we're going to play about with the smoke and it's just going to give the the illusion that this the space shuttle is actually part of the image and the smoke is basically invading the neighborhood <laughs> so i'll um, speed through this and i'll come back in a few minutes Part of the white that's in the tree that was the original sky and yeah and then go to select and similar and what that will do is that will select all the colors on the page that are similar to that white selection behind the tree but it doesn't really matter this time because we're going to grab the brush the brush too and we're going to invert the, or put the color to black and we're just going to color over the top of the white parts and that will actually mask off all them individual marching ants that are now selected which will allow us to actually merge in the background like so I'm going to quickly go around the image I'm going to clean up the parts of the image that I've missed and the likes of this gutter and I'll come back to you in a few minutes but we're nearly done it's not looking too much there you go once again we're near finished Image looking pretty good. I know it's been a while since I did my last Photoshop, but I am going to try and do more. And please, if you can, please subscribe. There you go, before and after, and we're done. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.